The IDR Pikes Peak has been fascinating motorsport fans since its presentation. Volkswagen's first fully electric racing car will challenge the record for electric vehicles at the legendary Pikes Peak race in Colorado. The track includes 156 turns, which makes aerodynamics very important indeed. We're dealing with an average speed of more than 140 kilometers per hour, so aerodynamics play a very important role. The extremely twisty track in the Rocky Mountains is only 20 kilometers long. However, it climbs to an altitude of 4,300 meters. The key factor for the best aerodynamic performance is downforce. The higher the downforce, the higher the speed in corners. The air is extremely thin. That's why the wings are very large, to create sufficient contact pressure. Of course, you also have crosswinds and things like that, and they must not have a strong effect on aerodynamics. Typically, all of the small changes add up to a big change in the end. The car was developed under extreme deadline pressure. First, the engineers tested a model at a scale of 1 to 2. Thanks to modern 3D printers, components can be exchanged more easily this way. We printed almost 2,000 pieces for this project, and that really is a big effort. Model making comes to an end in Porsche's wind tunnel. Here, the original ID Pikes Peak receives the final aerodynamic touches. The car is very big. At 50% size, it held together fine. At its real size, we have to adapt the materials a little to keep movement to a minimum. In combination, the two electric motors put out 500 kilowatts, or 680 horsepower, accelerating the car from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 2.25 seconds. That's faster than a Formula One car, thanks to its sophisticated aerodynamics, which have but one goal, keeping the car on the road. Up to now, the fastest fully electric vehicle took 8 minutes and 57 seconds to reach the summit. On June 24th, the IDR Pikes Peak and its driver, Romain Dumas, will challenge this record. <laughs>